Hello everyone, Pally Term here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well today as always. Welcome back to Remnant 2. I just got out of the shower. I have a whole Sunday ahead of me and I'm sitting down for a very long recording session. The plan is to rapid fire these videos out over the course of the next two weeks to try to fit as much Remnant in as we can before the release of Baldur's Gate on the horizon. We're level three on our medic right now. I went back into town in between episodes because I wanted to do some shopping. I also swapped out some of my gear as you can see on the left side here, tried to get more weight. I think these were pre-order bonuses that I got, just had a little bit more armor on them. So I popped them on. We mentioned before potentially picking up a ring that would increase our fire damage because we have that very early hotshot mod. Well, we're gonna come over here and talk to our good friend Lee, say we'd like to trade, and then purchase the Firestone ring for 500 of our 1400 scrap that we found since the last episode. Now that's not gonna benefit us all of the time, but when that mod is active, it's going to do a lot of damage. Our friend with the root rod is totally standing she seems to be okay but the idea of ignoring her and continuously running back and forth for right now is pretty funny to me so I'm gonna keep it going inside this building I do want to make sure I upgrade my weapon but it looks like there might be some more weapon mods for us to get to oh. so I do have enough scrap to make this a level three I should probably also upgrade my pistol because I do find myself using that quite a lot. Do you have new mods? We got this because we fought Legion. Calls forth an eye of Legion to gaze at a player's aim for every 0.25 seconds. The target builds madness. Any target within 25 meters. Oh, I could... I don't have to use that on my main gun. I could build madness on something else. Unfortunately, I'm out of scrap, um, so that's future bye. me's problem. I just wanted to do my face cam here to welcome you guys to the video. We've made the playlist. If you want to binge some Remnant 2, it's down in the video description. As always, if you guys are enjoying the content, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button because there's going to be a lot more of it to come. Thank you to our channel members for supporting us. And let's get into today's video. Well, uh, Holly brought me breakfast, so I'm going to take a little breakfast break. <laughs> <laughs> well, breakfast has been eaten. It was on, it was brioche bread with an egg, bacon, and cheese center. It was delicious, delicious. I looked around the starting forest while I was eating. This is where we first jumped into our very first biome. This is the first NPC we talked to, and I picked my path all the way around that led to the Twisted Chantry. I was wondering if there were more dungeons in this area and was disappointed when this first one was a dead end. But over here, by the very same altar that we used to unlock summoner gear, uh, we also have two things I didn't know about before. I'm actually very glad I went back and checked it out. So again, this may not even be in your world. This may be in a different spot in your biome. I'm, I'm not too sure how that works just yet. But over there on that ledge, there were some consumable items that I picked up. And I got to them by running through this way, jumping up over this ledge and walking over there. I then saw that there was another path this one leads up through this gigantic tree, which looks pretty cool. But at the top of it, there is a friendly bird. The items I picked up underneath were eggs. So I'm thinking some of these fell out of the nest. Hey, it's okay. You're all right. Can... There's dead bodies right there. Hi. Ah! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Hello, I'll bow. Hello. Oh no, what I picked up were Kaora pellets. I thought these were eggs on the ground. I have three of them. They literally look like a, a, a hard turd. Uh, don't suppose there's any way at all I could see what's behind you, huh? What if I just try to run back up? Ugh. All right, very well, very well. Oh, it's old root that attacked her. All right, Mama Bird. Well, it was great to meet you. I'll come back later. I also found another dungeon in this area. 
So for me anyway, at the altar, we took this left path, which led us towards that first dungeon, and I didn't explore this side. This is this has a completely different one over here. And every time we kill a boss, I imagine we're gonna continue to get new weapon mods that we might be able to use. So clearing dungeons is at the tippy top of my priority list. Well, well, well. This place is called the chimney. Looks like once again that root corruption. He's not shy about spreading out in places the sun doesn't shine. Hey, more bad news. Well, I'm already feeling that pistol upgrade and it was just one. That feels pretty good. Now, I do recognize this biome from the first game. Hold on, let's take this guy's leg out so he doesn't blow up on me. And a lot Come of these on. burial hexagons, these burial cells are very reminiscent of the first game to me. Okay, a few quick melees. Uh, I did level up a couple times. I put more points into mod build speed as well as skill yeah. cooldown reduction. If I can build up fire shot faster and heal myself right. more often, get some. our runs are going to be very easy. Oh, you do friendly fire damage. Swap it over the minigun here. Just taps, not stressed. I'm actually feeling so much more acclimated and like ready for the offensive, the, the offensive pushes from all of these enemies. Now that I know I can take their legs out, brings me a lot of comfort. Get, these guys are kind of coming out of the woodwork up there though. There's not a summoner, is there? Uh, I'm not gonna reload, I'm gonna keep just shooting. Blue item on the left, because if there, there we go, because if there is an elite, look at my ammo. I could pump all of this into him. Flame shot for my mod, and that auto reloads us. So all of a sudden, I'll be able to hold this area down, no problem. Just a couple pieces of, a couple shots of flame is all we need for most of the enemies here. And look at that, nice and secure, nothing to worry about. Wow, it's still going too, in fact, holy moly. That lasts a long time. Another summoner on the far side, we get another trait point. Hold on, push, push, push. Oh, I suppose maybe I didn't level up before and I just found another trait point on the ground. I suppose that is worth, you know, that's a possibility. Uh, my long gun ammo is not great. So I'm gonna swap oh, back it. over to the pistol. That's what I thought. Looks like we have two branching paths. I backed up a little bit. I'm gonna go for this right one. This is the same area I was fighting that elite at. Speaking of which, Another one coming towards us now, far side of the room, and he's the axe thrower. Oh no! Okay, back it up. Not good. Oh, not good at all, not good at all! Heal, quickly. We're just gonna dance in this. <laughs> I'm back at the crossroads again. Another elite has spawned, it's one of the summoners. Bringing back these guys I have already killed. Although it does say they're on a timer. I wonder if they would just go away. Uh, melee is here really quick. Oh God, what HP in a dream. What HP in a dream. They'll stay pretty far back. I don't think we're that worried. Hold on, quick reload. No, you don't. No, you don't. Stay back, damn it. My heal lasts for such a long time. It's like well over a full heal. Hey, the summoner's dead, stop. Jeez. Oh no, I'm rotted again. Bro, there better be something good this way. I'm going through so much trouble for this. Pulling out the big gun because I'm mad. Ooh, you almost got that sneaky flank. I'm gonna leave him there for the time being. Our fi oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What is this? The Sage's Stone. What does the Sage's Stone do? Wow, I have a lot of ring slots. Increase earned experience by 10%. That's huge. We're gonna level up faster. Wow, this is a big chamber. Mm. Maybe I should go back and check the other path. <laughs> I don't think there's any way these two loop on each other. Wait, is that bridge even on the map? <laughs> it is. I'm coughing. I don't like that. 
Explosive guy, it's another axe thrower. We're gonna fire shot right away. Oh, he got hit by the explosion too! Ah! We're okay, we're okay, everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about. I even have another heal for me if I need it. We're being flanked, don't think you can sneak up on me, big guy. So it looks like these two paths do meet up again. That was the ladder down I was looking at on the left path. Oh God, on the left path this is it. that ended up leading here. Man, this place is dark. Oh no. I just turned the brightness up a little bit, hoping it'd be a little easier to see in here. There's a difference between shadows being immersive <laughs> and not being able to see in the shadows. 120 shots left in my gun. Where's the elite? We're only halfway to my charge. Elite's behind us. It's a reaper. It's a reaper. Unload! Oh, crap. I did stagger it right then, too. More enemies coming in. Where is he? No, no, not the cough. Not, not, not. Oh, think fuck. And yeah, that guy sneaked up. He got way too close. I hate coughing. Ooh, melee damage relic, hello. So far we've been very thorough with the exploration, but all paths are leading here. Also just hit level three on the medic. Let me show you what that gives me. Uh, if I could find it, here it is. So I have invigorated, which is a damage increase. Rude, so very rude. Oh God, no, 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 not again, not again, I can't move. Fuck! Damn, this ain't good. No! Okay, we're good, we're good. No way you can hit me here. I'm even gonna use Dragonheart for it. Uh, back over to primary weapon and... Oh, oh God! This guy has some moves. The cough is interrupting me immediately as I hit my trigger from my mod. Just keep backing up, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. I do like that, you know, it, it does kind of help with storytelling, showing how fast that guy over. can kill us. Now, every time we do take him down, it feels like an accomplishment, or at least that's where I'm at with it. Those guys are scary. If they catch me in between mods, I'm not too sure what I've got. I guess I'm just going to use way more ammo in the process. So, might be something in here. I've noticed a lot of these small little squares on the map. This is actually the first one that had anything in it. I was about to go on a rant about how empty this has been. So I'm guessing we have to be at least somewhat close to the boss. I've gone through two optional paths already to get here. I am seeing the checkpoint up ahead. So my gut's doing pretty good today. That's because it's got good food in it. Holy shit. Whoa. Okay. Am I about to get a chain lightning? Oh my god, that would be incredible. Dude, I would drop all of this fire stuff instantly if I could get some chain lightning. Looks like I'm not the first... Oh, this isn't even a person. What does this say? I'm trying to interact with it, it won't let me. Oh, I just used my mod, no! Okay, I guess I'm going in. Do I shoot the crystal? Oh god. It's a lever! Hello? Oh, you're going down. Okay. Here they oh. come. Here they Oh my god, I have to push through these enemies to get down to the crystal again. It's gonna be a gauntlet! Luckily, we don't have that root rot anymore, so we're not gonna be coughing. Oh, there's light it's really close to the ground, don't you think? Holy shit! Oh, so I have to go really fast. Well, I'm not gonna make the mistake of waiting around this time. And I could definitely see the force field now that I've seen it move. So pull the lever and run. I was wondering if I could drop down there, but it looks like there is indeed a second force field. Okay, I'm gonna have a dragon heart here. 
It looks like I might be building up a charge as well. I actually may have gone too fast this time. Good. Wait, are all the enemies behind me? I'll just stand right here and I'll heal. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, I'm supposed to shoot the crystals! Oh, no! Hold on! Okay, go, go, go! That one's not even charged. This one's fine. Oh, it's charged now, though. Okay, we're getting it. Halfway to my heal coming off cooldown, more or less. It sounds like there is an audible attack with the crystals, so I think you might be able to dodge roll it. I can't tell if I'm just outpacing the enemies or if there's not enough. Oh, I'm ahead of I'm ahead of the thing again. So are they dying to these lightning rocks behind me? Is that why there's no ads following me? Oh, and it looks like they may only blow up one time. Okay, I'm gonna kill this one. We're gonna camp here. Damn, this ain't good. We're fine, don't freak out. I did think I killed that crystal already though. It kind of got a cheap shot in there. Okay, big move. Ah! Oh, shit! Ah! Shit, you're a dragon heart. <laughs> Still can't, oh my God, it's gonna keep going. This is a, literally a marathon. Oh, am I supposed to drop? Oh no, oh no, no, yes. no, yes. Okay, I'm out, and this crystal's gotta go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But the thing ahead is coming down quick. I crouched. Oh God. Ah! Wait, what if I, yes, yes, and then yes, yes, and then yes, and then don't go down anymore. Hold on, let's heal. So that's literally where I died before. Can I get ahead of this shit? Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, I found my shortcut though. All right, I'm working my way down the outside again. I think I got a pretty good rhythm to it now. I'm not even shooting the crystals anymore. I kind of got their explosion radius down and I'm just kind of being patient. At the breakneck speed I was moving before, I was actually outpacing this bottom force field by quite a lot. And as you can see, some of that light is still on the ground in front of me. So I think I have found a pretty good rhythm. I'm not using the shortcut. I think I gave it a couple of tries and it just didn't seem necessary anymore. I also think that center area is not where I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to continue to go around the outside here. Maybe that was just uh, like an item has a chance of spawning there or something. I guess I will take a second and kill both of these guys. Oh, they even had ammo for me. Thank you, gentlemen. So like, I'm totally safe to stand here for a while. I beat the electricity on that one. I beat the electricity on that one. And I actually think these crystals are helping protect behind me because uh, I'm not fighting any of those guys. They're just taking care of it. Okay, so it does seem like this does go to the center. Hold on. But then where? Unless I'm supposed to like jump over that. So alternatively, oh God, flame. Alternatively, oh. Kill that, jump here and wait. We're gonna wait for this force field that's underneath me to fully clear this bottom area. I just said I wasn't gonna use the shortcut anymore, but then I died to, to nothing. I'm not gonna run all the way back around. Look at these guys just sitting in wait. Look at them. That's why I haven't had to kill anything. Okay, we're going now, jumping in. Then I'm going to immediately double back to here where I think I have to do something similar to get to the lower level. I'm not seeing any other way of getting around. And it looks like enemies are already there kind of camping. Now, because I killed this crystal, I should be totally safe here. There shouldn't be any rush at all. 
Did it stop moving? It did stop moving. Okay. I think I need to interact with something here then. That has to be it. Oh! I shoot the roots out of the way! Is that good? One more. You good? Okay, it's on the move again, so I need to be on the move again as well. I'm gonna use a dragon heart here. And I'm gonna hold this bridge for the time being. Uh, I am gonna need the sambo on the left, so let me grab that really fast. So we do have flame shot if we need it. So this is officially cleared. And I'm just gonna walk off. There we go. Now, which way is the way forward? Oh god. Please don't kill me. I just put my heel down. Uh. Uh. This way. This way is the way forward. And I need to hurry. That that thing above me is catching up. It's catching up fast. Okay. We're fine. This crystal ahead of us will hurt me, so I'm gonna stop. Behind us is fine, and we caught up to the bottom force field again. Okay, there's a thing right there. We're doing we're doing very well. We're doing very well. There's a fucking Reaper behind me though. Oh, we just heard it too. <gasps> what is that up there? No, do not rot me. Oh, that seems so cruel to start putting them in the walkway. How do I get up to that, though? I don't even know what it is, but it's so shiny and I want it! I think we're almost at the bottom. Nice and easy. We found a nice safe spot here. Let's just stay in the pocket and I think we'll be fine. Those guys are being electrocuted above us. I'll break this crystal. Eh, probably wasn't necessary. I am gonna flame shot these guys. Wow, with that fire upgrade, that's so much damage. That is ridiculously good. Make sure you guys pick up that ring if you are following along closely at home with the air build. This is fantastic. Really, really good. Uh, there is some more of this explosive stuff. This is fucking good. Shut up! Stay positive! God damn it. Uh, okay, it is kind of, it is kind of looming. Okay. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! That's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Bro, that is so tanky. What the heck? I'm okay. I need to move soon, but I'm still good. Wait, what if I... What if I run jump? Oh, shit, 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 shit! Get to the corner, get to the corner, get to the corner, drop my heel. And then we're gonna have to LMG this. Oh god, there's not it! <laughs> wow! For now. Wow, that was tough. Do I get anything out of this? The heart seed, new material. Maybe McCabe can do something with this. Uh, with this seed in hand, you feel your senses expanding as if you can see and feel through the senses of living things around you. I believe that's going to be either a mod or a weapon. Uh, I, I think a, I think a mod, because the other, the weapon guy's name is Riggles. It's hard to forget that. Well, there is a checkpoint there and some iron in the corner. I'm not gonna sit down yet. I'm gonna go try to see what that shiny thing was. And this might help me find the intended path to get around because legitimately I, I was not seeing a way through. That's why I did the drop after that first roadblock area. I'm starting to think this shiny thing I saw was just a light. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the... That was the case. I'm gonna be a little, a little sad, a little sad. 
I have no idea how you were supposed to do this without dropping because this, I followed this way all the way up top. I didn't deviate from the path at all. I followed it all the way up and it led me through this. So this was only accessible from the bottom. Is this how you get back on the path? Bro, was there some bonus boss stuff that was supposed to be here during the event? They do like to sneak that in from time to time. But you see what I mean? This isn't attached to anything. And I I think we stopped right around here. Maybe it was the floor above. Oh my God, are you supposed to jump through and land on that? That doesn't seem doable. Look at the mini map though. There's something purple on it. Over there on this, on this wall. What the fuck is that? What is that? What do I do? I can't even look up. I'm like a dog. I'm gonna go a floor above and see if there's like a break in the wall that I might be able to see. It's over there. Yeah, that's a whole lot of, wait a minute. I see a purple glow right there. So I need to get back on the upper path. What's the safest way of doing that? I'm starting to think there's not supposed to be a way back up to the top because every way I try to go just gets me stuck in a new way. But I'm very close. <laughs> well, lucky me. Wouldn't you know, I didn't sit down at the bottom. You know, it's hilarious. I've spent just as much time walking around this room as I have recording all of the commentary that you've heard in this episode so far. I'm just enamored with this. I don't want to leave. Hey, if you're still watching down in the comments, let me know how you went about your first playthrough. I doubled back and re-explored my starting biome. Did you guys hold W and just try to, oh no, this area is underneath me. Did you hold W and just try to find uh, Clementine as fast as you could? Oh, so it's right there on this route. How, how? So right now it's directly above me. I'm gonna go up one more level. Oh, it's an explosive. Did that, did that drop it down? Yeah, it's definitely not in there anymore. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know what happened to it. You don't think it's... It's in the hallway where the red stuff used to be! Oh my god, what was it? The downward spiral. Oh, you're describing my life really well. Really well. Increased fire rate by 10% and melee attack speed by 15%. For every missing 10% of max health, gain 3% range damage and increase melee damage. This does give us more scrap, which I do like but we can put this on for bosses and then start ripping and tearing. That sounds excellent. Okay, it was worth it. It was worth it. Well, now that I've spent half an hour walking up and down a staircase, I think I will rest at this checkpoint. Oh. Oh. So the first dungeon we cleared had a path forward that went to the next biome or the next section of the biome. This was a dead end. It was an enclosed experience. I kept expecting there to be another exit into the forest here. Well, well, let's go see what that mod is and then we'll wrap up this video. Okay, dude, with the heart seed from that boss encounter, we can make the soul binder. Fire is a projectile that attaches to the enemy dealing 40 damage. Enemies within seven meters also become bound to the primary target and share 60% of damage dealt. 
That is incredible. You could potentially bind all of your targets together, shoot the main one with the sniper rifle and watch all of them pop. And it lasts 15 seconds. I bet this would be exceptional in multiplayer as well, assuming it binds targets together for your friends too. Wow, that was definitely worth doing. Okay, that was super duper fun. Bye Thank now. you guys so much for being here. I'm gonna spin my trait point so you can see where it's going into mod power generation. I want that very, very high because I'm relying on that fire damage for my weapon right now to really carry me. Thank you guys for being here. I'll see you again later today. Make sure you're subscribed.